What's good, what's good, what's good? So, you want a Navy Federal credit card? Yo, we all know that Navy Federal give high limit credit cards, so I'm about to help you get your first high limit credit card. So I'm about to give you the play by play. You already know what time it is, let's get right into it. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the number one credit educational channel. Hey, my name is Dave, where I show you how to remove negative items off your credit report, how to build relationships with banks, and how to get to that money. So in today's video, I'm basically going to break down everything you need to get that high limit credit card. I'm going to show you what your credit profile should look like. Also, I'm going to show you what you need to add as a primary trade line, and I'm also going to give you the details to add on your application so you can go ahead and get approved for that Navy Federal credit card. So you already know what it is. So when it comes to a Navy Federal credit card, the underwriters are looking at TransUnion, right? Your TransUnion credit profile. So you need to make sure your TransUnion uh, credit profile is set up properly correct to basically to start applying for this credit card and get approved. So what you wanna look is at your payment history, right? Your payment history needs to be at 100%. You wanna make sure you have no missed payments within the last two years, right? Next, what you wanna make sure is your utilization is below 10%. I know a lot of people tell you 30%, but 10% and below is way better. You don't want to be average. 30% is average, 10% or low is excellent. So we all know that you want to be excellent. Your average age, right? You want to at least have six months of average age, right? Not you just starting. If you don't have a six months of average age on your credit profile, don't start to apply yet. Build that history up and then apply for a credit card. You want to make sure you have zero collections, right? No collections, no derogatory marks, no bankruptcy, no um, charge offs. Make sure your credit profile is clean and hard inquiries. You want to make sure you have at least five or less hard inquiries, right? This is how your credit profile should look when you apply for your um your Navy Federal credit card. So 100% payment history, 10% utilization, average age is um six months um six months or higher no collections and hard inquiries five or less every all the underwriters are looking at your fico 8 score so go on experian.com credit check total my fico they're looking at the fico 8 or higher so in those three things i gave you those three places i gave you gives you your real fico score don't look at credit karma when it comes to credit karma just look at your profile don't look at the score go to an actual FICO place that actually shows you a FICO score. So this is how your credit profile should look. So when it comes to the application process, a lot of people mess this part up. A lot of people mess this up because they don't know what to put. But first and foremost, you wanna make sure your credit profile is set up correctly. I can't stress this enough. Once your credit profile is set up correctly, then most likely you'll get approved, right? Most likely, I'm not saying you're gonna get approved, but most likely, right? But you also wanna become a member. You also need to be a member. If you're not a member, you will be denied. And also you wanna make sure you have primary accounts. Just don't have authorized users. Authorized user is basically piggybacking on somebody else's um, credit profile, right? I mean, credit card. So make sure your credit profile is set up correctly. Make sure you have some primary accounts. When it comes to the application process, the income, right? The household is a household income, not just your income. And what I mean by that is, it's you, your spouse, and if you have somebody else, that's what the house is making. So if your house, if you're making 50,000 and your spouse is making 50,000, put 100,000. If you have a business as well, put that on there. If it's an extra 30, 50,000, put that as well. So now you're making 130,000, right? Put that on the um, income part. I talked to a few reps at Navy Federal and they said it's the household and not just yourself. So this is what you need to do to basically put on the application. A lot of people mess that part up, right? Everything else is simple, but the income is what you're making, right? So they want to make sure you, they know that you can pay this back. So if you haven't watched my best, um, what are the best Navy Federal credit cards at Navy Federal, go ahead and go to that video, go jump on and watch it. I give you the game and the play by play when it comes to the Navy Federal credit cards. So go check it out.